So welcome back to the show, and we are here with the man Ubo's uh, sauce margarita mix. So um, let's talk about your sauce here. So what, what's the ingredients? Now, Eric, now, 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 Eric, you know I told you that I couldn't tell you. I'd have to kill you if I told you. But you have to do me here. I will tell you that it is a tomato-based sauce with some vinegar. And uh, that's vinegar and ketchup, and there's some uh, salt and pepper, uh, and there's some other spices, and, that's all I need and to some know. sugar, and that's as far as I can go. I'll let you know there's other spices. How about that? I'm gonna live today, thank goodness. <laughs> so let's talk about your sauce here. So um, you're here today. I'm, I'm, I'm here today at the Big Apple Block Party. Uh -huh. We're having a wonderful weekend. I love New York City. I'm a I'm a boy from the South. I'm I'm from Central Mississippi. I'm a little town called Yazoo City, Mississippi. And uh, the sauce that I brought here today is a fifth generation barbecue sauce made first by my grandparents. My uh, my granddad would uh, cook a whole hog or a side of beef every Fourth of July, and uh, and he would invite the neighbors over and they would make this sauce up in a big number three wash tub. Now, are you familiar with the number three wash tub, what yes, that is? Yes, 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 Well, he and he probably started with a boat paddle he fished with the day before, you know, which they won't let you do that now. Yeah. They have to have stainless steel bats and all this stuff now. <laughs> but uh, it was that sauce from so long ago, it's, it's made exactly the way they did it, with one exception. Okay. My, gr my grandmother did not have a dehydrated onion, so he, oh. he used, she sauteed her onions in butter to tender them up, and I used a dehydrated, that's the only difference in the two of the mixes. The, the, the only difference in two, and it's Ubon's. Ubon was my daddy, okay. uh, and this was named after him because he made this sauce up for years and years. Cooked a lot of chicken and sausage for neighbors. A lot of chicken and sausage. That was our thing, because we were so poor we couldn't afford none. But it's cheaper because of the meat, the chicken and the sausage. Well, he's doing okay now, people. <laughs> he's doing okay. He's doing okay. So, is there anything new coming up for you guys? Well, uh, no, no, we do have a Bloody Mary that we've come out with in the last couple of years. We've got a hot and spicy that we came out with last year. So that we're growing. We are, uh, we're just, we're, we're, we're growing. We've got some other products that we're just waiting for the right, okay. the right opportunity to expose these to the market. Okay. Now, you know, you've got to get one going before you get another one going yes, before you get yes, another one. Yes, yes. So that's what we're, we're trying to do is make these things go. You we're, book, you got a book coming out? A book? Yeah. Not yet. But I have got some outlines for one, you know. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you a quick recipe yeah. that uh, that might be in that book. It's on how to cook gar. Do you know what a gar fish is? No. This is a, a really, a really a, a lot of bone fish. It's, it's common in the south. Okay. But you take that gar and you cut, you dig your pit in your neighbor's yard. Yeah, yeah. And you fill it full of coal, get your coal going, and you wrap that gar in cow manure. And you put him on the board and drop him in there and you bake him with that cow manure. And then when you, after about an hour, you take him off, you break the cow manure off and eat it because it ain't, the gar ain't fit to eat and you throw it away. <laughs> he is something else. He's something, you know, I, I'm not going to say it ain't possible, but anything's possible down in South. I want to say thank you for, um, for uh, have doing the interview and um, I love the sauce. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, we're so it's amazing. And I, I got to tell you something. New York to an old country southern boy is fascinating. The people are fascinating. This is a great city. Yes. A great, great city. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I'm, I'm glad to have you here. We love it. We Thank love you. It.